Hey everybody, it's Scott again. Hope everyone's having a good Friday and gearing up for a good safe weekend. Let's kick a prayer. Lord Jesus, we come to you in prayer. We believe. We believe in you. We believe you're coming soon with God's kingdom and God's judgment. Jesus, please, please protect us from Ebola in this country and help us just to prep, stay close to you, and get ready for the tough times 2015. In your name we ask. Amen. All right, so I'm scrolling through the news, which I do daily, several times a day, and wow, this deal, you know, this deal down in Texas is just a freaking joke, but it's not surprising, and, uh, you know, I'm going to come right out and say it publicly, the CDC is a freaking joke, and they're just being beyond reckless about this Ebola gig, and Wow. I mean, you know what? Go to Infowars.com, go to TrueNews.com, go to DrudgeReport.com, and just catch yourself up on the latest headlines. And you know what? Don't trust the CDC. It's point blank. They're just, they're inept. Their ineptitude is to as high as the heavens. And don't listen to mainstream media. Oh, it's not a problem. You guys are just being paranoid and fear mongrels. And no, actually, we're not. Because the whole plan was to get Ebola here and get it spreading. And just, it's a joke. And the other thing is that uh, another CNN did a, a breaking news broadcast earlier. I'm sure it's out here on YouTube somewhere. Where that suspected uh, Ebola patient they brought in from South, <clears throat> South Africa into Washington, D.C. Then uh, the CDC and the hospital announced today, oh, well, yeah. We're just going to hang out for a couple, three days. We're not going to test them for Ebola. No emergency here. Nothing, nothing to see here, Phil. folks. Let's just move along. All right. Here's the truth in the matter. Get ready. Stockpile. N95 masks. Vinyl ex examination gloves. Stock up heavy on rubbing alcohol, peroxide, ammonia, bleach. Uh, if you can afford to get on Amazon, get yourself... A full face gas mask. You know, check out my uh, Preppers 44 video for part numbers and product product descriptions. Uh, get the Tyvek suits, man. Build yourself uh, a portable um, disease cocoon, as I like to call it. <clears throat> Stockpile your food, your water, your medicines, your medical supplies. You know, because the other deal is, is that. Um, I feel I kind of feel bad for that family, man, because I honestly think that uh, Duncan, I think that's his name, that dude that came in that bounced around two countries and then made it to uh, Texas. I think he's a plant, and I don't think the family really, the family he stayed with, they didn't know, and so now, and the CDC's pretty much left them for dead, as not telling them really how to effectively and safely clean up the apartment, the sheets he slept on all the trash, you know, basically they got themselves some Clorox beach and wiping stuff down, and now they're under a 21-day quarantine period. All right, you know, that's all good. Uh, you know, at least the local authorities are uh, going to follow suit, but now they're under armed quarantine, meaning they can't leave. And I would suspect if they try to leave and get a few feet away from the apartment, they'll probably get shot. And... Uh, I, one of the pictures I saw, I guess they dropped some MREs right at the apartment front door. And that's another thing. If you get quarantined or get stuck in your house for a month, can you make it? And if you're going to get forced into quarantine, wouldn't you much rather just eat the foods that you like rather than be so dependent on local authorities dumping something at your front door? That's just going to make your miserable experience that much more miserable. Because look at it this way. The reason why you want to prep and prep the foods that you like that you can do long-term storage, is that if you're in a, a jam, jam-packed, jam you know, harsh emergency situation, at least you'll have the comfort of the foods you like and have some water. And so there, don't trust the CDC. Get busy. Start prepping. Start getting these supplies that uh, me and a lot of other preppers um, out here are saying uh, because when the panic hits, and it will, because it's only going to be a matter of time before – you get, you know, one or two breaking news stories, and they're like, you know, the authorities and uh, CDC would be like, OMG, Becky, uh, we lost containment. We don't know how this happened. 
oh, oh, and people are going to panic and make a run on the stores. And, you know, the, the vinyl examination gloves, you know, all of your res types of respirator masks, dust mask, respirators, half mask, full mask all that stuff's going to fly off the shelf. And it's just not going to be any. You know, bulk up on, again, I'm going to say it, rubbing alcohol, peroxide, ammonia, bleach, tons of hand sanitizer, you know, um, start beefing up on stuff, you know, that you can disinfect your house, your cars, um, your physical body. So there, there's my two cents on that. So, all right, with all that being said, as usual, I'm praying for the whole human family. I really am. Now, let's say a quick prayer again. Heavenly Father, please, please bless the whole human family with your Holy Spirit so we can be less sinful and less corrupt and turn back to you before it's too late. Turn back to you before the Great Tribulation and the hard times of 2015 coming for the world. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, people. As always, be safe, stay aware, but most importantly, be prepared.